Hi everyone, I am Connie Jo Lofthouse Gold Premier from Clinton, Utah, consultant number 423. Today I am going to talk to you about some tips on making phone calls, of course, because we're doing a booking blitz, um, but uh, some things that maybe you can incorporate to your phone calls and then also leaving messages so people will call you back when you have to leave a message on a voicemail. And of course, you will have to do this today, I guarantee. Um, so a couple of things you probably have already heard today, but I just want to reiterate. Um, first of all, be prepared. Have a script in front of you if you have to. Um, but practice that a few times so it kind of rolls off your tongue so they don't think that you're actually reading from a script. Um, also, be upbeat, be happy, be smiling. People can tell whether or not you are excited to make these phone calls or not. Um, I talk with my hands a lot and I'm really excited when I make these phone calls and you need to be too. too. So if you have to do it in front of a mirror for a little while, do that. Um, also, people love to hear their name. So, of course, when you make that phone call, you're going to say, hi, is this Jenny? But then also during the phone call, you want to use their name a couple of times because that makes them feel really important. Um, then at the beginning of the call, you do not want to say, so how are you doing? That leaves it open for them to really talk a long time. And you want to keep these um, phone calls as short as possible because your time's valuable, but so is theirs. And you want to make sure that they know that. So you want to make sure and let the, ask them if it's a good time for them to even be able to talk. And the way you want to ask this is you want to say, did I catch you at a bad time? Don't say, is now a good time to talk? Or did I catch you at a good time? And the reason why is 60% of the time people will say no without even thinking about it. So if you say, is it a bad time? And they say no, they've given you the green light to go ahead and talk to them. Um, but if you say, is it a good time? And 60% of the time they say no, <laughs> you've just been shot down. So um, it's just one simple word, bad time versus good time. And most of the time you're able to get that green light. So simple wording, um, but it means the exact same thing, um, which is also the case with this next one. Um, don't say, this is only going to take a few minutes. Yes, you want to make sure and let them know it's going to be a really quick phone call, but you don't want to give the impression that you're taking anything from them. They are your client. You want to give them something. So instead, you are giving them a quick phone call today because um, it means the exact same thing, but you're giving them instead of taking something from them. So um, don't take a few minutes of their time. Give them a quick call. So wording again. Um, a few things people love. So I'm giving you a quick call because, because is a very fun word to use because people love to know why they get something. It's an exciting word because. Um, and then some keywords that I love to use. Um, we are an entitlement society. So use the word entitled. They are entitled to something. They qualify for something. They are a preferred client. They are a VIP. Um, they get free. Free is a big word, but it's overused sometimes. So I don't use it as often as I do preferred and qualified and entitled. Um, flexible is another one. They like to know that you are a little flexible. Um, so if you're giving them dates, let them know you're flexible and list a couple of dates. But here's a trick. Make sure and list the closest date um, at the last. So if you have two dates you're offering them, um, April 17th and April 24th, list April 24th first and then April 17th because the later one is in their mind last and they more than likely will choose that. So a quick run view overview of what I'm saying is I'm giving you a quick call today because as a preferred client, you qualify for or you're eligible for, you're entitled to, um, you know, $50 in free product when you host a $200 spa night with your girlfriends, um, whatever you're giving. So that's just an example. Now, without fail, you will get some um, voicemail today. <laughs> and you want to make sure you're leaving effective phone messages so that they will call you back. So in doing that, make sure you're leaving their name. Um, and give them a little bit of information where you met them so it's not completely out of the blue, so personalize it. 
but you want to use those keywords that I mentioned. Um, leave a little bit of mystery also. Don't tell them exactly why you're calling. Don't say, I'm calling to see if you would book a party um, or a spa night. You want to give a little bit of intrigue and mystery for that. And also create an urgency. You need to call by 8.30 tonight. Um, so maybe, hi, this is Connie Jo. I met you at Susie's party. I just wanted to give you a quick call and let you know you are entitled to some great offers, but only if you call me by 8.30 tonight. I really am excited to share these with you, so call me back by 8.30. Um, you know, you're leaving that mystery, but you're excited, you're, she's entitled, and you're telling her she needs to call back. So when she does call back, you can tell her you are entitled to these because you are a preferred client, um, and then give her the offer of booking a party. Now, I said offers because, of course, that's the first thing that you want to get her hooked on, but if she says no, offer her something for placing an order right then, free shipping or 10% off or something that you can hook her right then. If she says no, that's okay. Ask for a referral, ask for something else. Tell her, great, I'll call you back in a month. Now, one last thing that I want to talk about is that huge stack of prize drawing forms that you might have or those huge stack of order forms that you have from three years ago because I've been in business that long and you're thinking, oh, I'm going to feel so stupid calling them back because it's been three years. Pick up the phone and say, I am calling to say thank you because of your business, I am where I am today and I want to say thank you. And because of this, you are entitled to a $50 spa benefit when you host just a $200 party or spa night, whatever. But you are saying thank you. You're letting them know that you are still in business and it's not just a cold call at that point. So keep that in mind. I'm really excited to see what Posh brings us today. I'm super excited for this booking blitz and I hope that some of these tips have brought you some information that you haven't thought about. See you later.